All right, guys, this is our discussion for the King of Maisie May. All right, so some background. This was written by Jack London, and when he was four years old, he um, gold was discovered in Klondike uh, country. And so Jack was eventually drawn to the north by all of the stories of gold. He spent the winter of 1897 to 1898 in the Yukon, and he fell in love with Gold Rush, but scurvy ran him back to California. All right, and so though he left the Yukon and the gold behind, his heart remained in Klondike country. Jack eventually went on to write a famous story called The Call of the Wild, and this book would eventually be his success. All right, and so it also become a great movie, and we talked about this in class. All right, we are introduced to our first character. Who was he? We talked about that it was Walt Masters. And so the story described him as not a huge kid, but very manly and tough. And so some of the ways that uh, some of the things he had never done before were go to a picnic, farm, or wear shoes. What were some of the things that he had done that others had not done were seen the sun at midnight, played beneath the northern lights, and watched ice jams. All right, and um, killed a moose, made bread without yeast, uh, powder, or hops or drove wild dogs for 50 miles a day. So it describes him as even someone who's traded with the Indians uh, for moccasin shoes. So we know that he was a rough wilderness guy. All right, so what are some ways the story describes his heart? It says he's fearless, good-hearted, and not afraid of anything. And um, the specific place he lived was Maisie May Creek in the Klondike. They had endured lots of hardships, but they had started to see a change because people were finding gold. It says, with the news of discovery, strange men began to, began to come. This was um, a foreshadow of some drama that might happen in the future. And so this more than likely points to problems that would arise with the strange men. All right, so what were some of the things that started happening around the camp? We talked about that people would return to find their camps had been moved and this and their stuff stolen. And we talked about how that back then they had to stake out their property and these bad guys were coming in and moving their stakes. And so Walt's dad was going on a trip and Walt was in charge of staying behind looking after his and his neighbor's stuff, Lauren Hall. And so, um, this is a repeat, sorry. All right, and so while Lauren Hall was gone, he was actually going to report his land. And so he had went away and fell through the ice, and the water had frozen his feet and injured him. He had been frostbitten. <clears throat> and so Walt heard that Lauren was almost better and was on his way back. But Walt was anxious because he was afraid that these men would try to do something to um, snag his land. All right, and so there was a new group of strangers, and he didn't want them to stake claim to Lauren's land. And so Walt checks out the newcomers and realizes they're stampeders, which means that they would ultimately come in and try to take people's land and jump their claims, steal their land. They were just bad guys. And so Walt decides to trail them. All right, and when he follows them, he sees them moving people's stakes, destroying stakes, and setting up new ones. And Walt um, hears the men talking about going to steal more claims. And so Walt determined um, that the black bearded man was their leader. The men say that it was beastly cold. This is just uh, comparing beast, uh, the cold to a beast without using like her ass. So this is a metaphor. And then it says, let's hit the trail. Um, this was a specific type of figurative language that we haven't talked about in a while. Remember, I said it would um, take an idiom to um, bring this across because, remember, let's hit the trail. We know that that doesn't mean for us to physically go out and punch a trail, but let's hit the road. Let's drive. Let's get on the road and let's drive. And so this is called an idiom. How did the guys find out there was gold at Lawrence Hall? Uh, Lauren Hall's because they thawed out the ice with fire and sifted for gold on his land. And so they had plans to steal his land. And so Walt gets crazy and he looks for one of their sleds and their uh, best sled dogs and hops on the sled. And right when they see him, um, he yells, mush, mush, and they take off. And so he felt like he needed to steal their dog and sled so that he could catch up with Lauren Hall, who was at Dawson recording the land, and tell them what was about to happen. 
as he's flying through the snow, a man jumps out and grabs the sled. And so Walt cracks him with the whip on the knuckles. And he had a long eight mile journey ahead of him. And it describes the Maisie May Creek as winding like a snake, which we know is um, a simile. And so as he comes around a creek bend, the men uh, catch up with him and they shoot at him. They were running on foot. So finally, he, he skates past them, and he um, hits a straightaway on the Maisie May River, and he soon realizes he's chosen the wrong dog. He knows that because this dog would not follow simple commands, and so Walt was very concerned with freezing to death, and so he occasionally jumps off and runs beside the sled as the dogs keep running to try to keep his heart rate up. And so he is almost to Dawson, about 50 miles out. And if he stops, he will allow the men to catch him, so he keeps fighting. He reaches a rise at Rosebud Creek, and bullets fly past his head. And he has to lay down flat on his sled to keep himself safe. But unfortunately, one of his dogs is shot. The lead dog is shot. And Walt ultimately just cuts the rope and pushes him aside and keeps running. As he looks back, the other sled was coming like a freight train, which, of course, is a simile. And so Walt um, ultimately does a really cool thing, and he crashes the other sled with the bad guys because they were really cracking down on him. They were coming up on him fast. And so he grabs, um, he cracks the people in the face with a whip, and then he grabs one of the dogs that are leading their sled's legs and flips them over, and they crash. And so he reaches Lauren's camp, who was on their way back, on his way back to Maisie May, and he tells them what's happened. And they switch the dogs around, put the best dog in the lead, and they finally reach Dawson. And this is where um, Walt is is named the King of Maisie May. Good guys.